going to I'm going to show you on how we could able to sign up in our uh, subject okay so we'll be using a um, uh, web web platform which is the MIT app inventor okay so first thing to do is to search the MIT app inventor in Google and as you can see here we have the first um, result which is the the website that we'll be using so this is the website which is the MIT app inventor in here we don't need to um, make uh, or download a software or any um, applications for for us to uh, build an application okay so we only need the MIT app inventor and of course okay we need also the uh, cell phones or device that we need uh, the uh, Android operating system okay so here getting started with the MIT app inventor so first uh, we click the setup instruction okay so set up your phone or tablet for live testing or start the emulator if you don't have a mobile device okay so you have four options for setting up live testing while you're you build up so it is important for us to have a, a live testing so that we can see if our application that we build is uh, is able to fulfill what we are what the goal of the applications okay, that we are going to build so if you are using an Android smartphone or tablet device or compatible Chromebook and you have a wireless internet connection you can start building apps without downloading any software to your computer so you will need to install the app inventor companion app so this will be uh, this is available on the Google Play Store Okay, you just have to search the application. Choose option 1 or option 2 below. So this choice is strongly recommended. So we have here the option 1. So build apps with an Android device and Wi-Fi connection. Okay, so if you have a computer, an Android smartphone or tablet, and a Wi-Fi connection, this is the easiest way to build and test your, app, your apps on the device. Okay, so we have here the website which is the uh, MIT app inventor and after building the application through the website you need a uh, live Android device okay so that you can we can able to live test our application and we have the option to build apps with a Chromebook so you can click this so that you can able to see the instructions on how to build apps with a Chromebook so many Chromebooks are capable of running Android apps that lets you build and run the finished app on the same device. Okay, so build your project on your Chromebook. So for our third option, which is uh, option three, so you don't have uh, don't have an Android device, use the emulator. So if you don't have an Android phone or tablet handy, you can still use App Inventor. Have a class of thirty students, have them work primarily on emulators and share a few device okay so you can use a uh, build your project on your computer and test it real time on your computer with the on-screen emulator so we have a lot of uh, on-screen emulator that you can download over the internet okay number one example of uh, emulator is the blue stack okay so you can um, <clears throat> choose any emulator that you want Okay, then option four, no Wi-Fi, build apps with an Android device and USB cable. Okay, so uh, some firewalls within school and organizations do not allow the type of Wi-Fi connection required. If Wi-Fi doesn't work for you, you try USB. Okay, so if you have a if you don't have any Wi-Fi at home, you can use a USB cable and connect it from your laptop or computer to your um, cell phone or gadget. Okay, so that's uh, the way of setting up uh, the app inventor. Okay, and then designer and blocks editor overview. Okay, so here, as you can see, we have the app inventor designer. So design the app's user interface by arranging both on and off screen components. So we have the palette. So find your component and drag them to the viewer to add them to your app. So what you, as you can see here, this is the palette and then we have the designer button so click from any tab to go to the designer tab okay 
In properties, select a component in the components list to change its properties. The example is color, size, behavior. You can able to see it here, the properties. And then the viewer, drag components from the palette to the viewer to see what your app will look like. Then we have the app inventor blocks editor. Program the app's behavior but by putting blocks together. So we have the built-in drawers. Find blocks for general behavior you may have want to add to your app and drag them to the blocks viewer. So instead of coding, in here the MIT app inventor. So we have the uh, drag and drop of the codes that we need. Okay, then we have the blocks button. Click from any tab to go to the block tab. Then component specific drawers. Find blocks for behaviors for specific uh, components and drag them to the block viewer. Okay, and then the viewer, drag blocks from the drawers to blocks the viewer to build relationships and behavior. Okay, so that's the designer and blocks editor. <clears throat> then uh, beginner's tutorial. So I'll be clicking um, app inventor is free cloud-based service that allows you to make your own mobile apps using a block-based programming language. You access app inventor using a web browser. You can use Chrome, Firefox, and Safari. With this beginner-friendly tutorials, we'll learn the basics of programming apps for Android device. So you need a Mac or Windows computer. So let's see the system requirements. So the system requirements, to use the App Inventor, your computer must meet the following system requirements. So for the computer, you can use the Macintosh, so Mac OS X 10.5 or higher, so Windows XP or higher, up to Windows 10. GNU or Linux, we have the Ubuntu 8, 8 Plus or higher and Debian 5 up. The browser, Mozilla Firefox 3.6 or higher. Apple Safari 5.0, Google Chrome. App Inventory doesn't su support Microsoft Internet Explorer. Windows users should use Chrome or Firefox. And then phone or tablet, or use this on-screen emulator. Android operating system 2.3 or the gingerbread or higher. Okay. So that's the system requirements. Then after that, you can able uh, to access the the ai2.appinventor.mit.edu okay so in here i'm going to show you on how to uh, sign in or sign up using your google account okay or your gmail account so you can use uh to sign in to sign up or to sign in your google account so i'll be using my uh, Gmail account. Okay, so here I have my uh, build project. Okay, so I have my three build project. First project, hello Cody, and one and hello Cody. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to show you on how to start a new project so my first project so as we discussed earlier this will be the uh, interface of our MIT app inventor so these are the palettes so we have the buttons the user interface the layout media Drawing animation, map, sensor, social storage, connectivity. And we have the components. So we have the screen one. Then the properties. Okay. So this is the designer view. And we have here the blocks view. Uh, in here we'll be able to drag okay, some blocks to make our uh, application work. Okay. So that's the end of our um, my first video. And for the next video, uh, we will be creating a application using the MIT App Inventor.